Welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeline Lise. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys are returning subscribers or viewer, welcome as well. I am your newest favorite YouTuber, Adeline Lise. And today we're going to be talking about bossing up and taking charge of your own life. Okay? So if you guys are interested on, you know, tips and tricks I'm going to be telling you and just to improve yourself, um, yeah, keep on watching. I feel like when we get into a certain age, we need to start bossing up. And I'm talking about personally and co career-wise. I feel like we have to understand that in order for us to be a boss, I'm not talking about entrepreneuring, I'm not talking, no, I'm talking about a boss in your life, taking charge of your life. I feel like things need to be done. Not said, just done. Like, I don't care about what you're saying, I need to know what you're doing. If that makes sense. So you know me. You know me already. With the notes child. With the notes. Okay. I feel like. Step, like Number one rule to taking. To becoming a boss. Is taking charge of your own life. I wrote down. Ask yourself. What do you want to accomplish? Going back to school. Starting your own business. Getting a promotion. Regardless of the fact. What the heck do you want to accomplish? You can't say I'm a boss. I'm a boss. When your life is in shambles. When your life is just unorganized. And don't get me wrong. Not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day is going to be sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. Of course not. But in order for you to get to your goal, what the heck are you doing? And some people love, love, love to blame the past. To just not take accountability. But we're going to, even, we're going to talk, about that, talk about that later on in this video. But... One thing about becoming a boss is you gotta take a like take charge of what your life. What does your day to day look like? What do you do? How do you improve yourself daily? Like in order for you to not be in the circumstances that you are in now, what are you doing to change it? Ask yourself, what are you doing to really change it? What are you doing to change it? Cause if you're just moping, complaining about how your life sucks, how this is not how it's supposed to be, what are you doing to change it? You're sitting here talking about, oh, I'm going to do this. I want to do that, but I can't. This, like, you have so much excuses under your belt, but you don't have any, anything that you're doing about it. You're sitting here. Like, you ever seen that commercial? You're sitting on the couch. You're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, maybe next semester. No, do it right now. Exactly. What are you doing? I hate when people at your big ass age is complaining about why your life sucks and why your life is not supposed to be where it's at now. At your big ass age, bro, your big age. Oh, the reason why this is happening to me because my mom, my dad, like, bro, you acting like you can't change it. You acting like tomorrow is not a new day. Like, stop looking at everybody else's plate and focus on yours. Focus on why the hell you don't got food on your plate. But you want to worry about, like, how, how did he get here? How did she get here? Because we're hungry. We want this. We want this. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Like, you can't keep complaining about why your life is not the way. Boss the fuck up. Boss up. Like, how many times are you going to complain to people about why your life is not the way it's supposed to be. Stop. Boss up. Take charge of your life. Like, start planning. That's the thing. There's no organization. You're not planning. You're not planning. Like I said, everything takes time. Not every day is going to be great, great days. And that's totally fine. But don't sit there and do nothing about it. Like, I don't want to live in regrets of like, yo, damn, I, I wish when I was 27, I should have started this business a long time ago. I don't want to live in regrets. Because tomorrow's not promised. But then again, it's like, yeah, tomorrow's not promised, but like, what am I doing now that I can look forward for tomorrow? Make sense? Make sense. <laughs> Number two, 
I feel like in order for you to boss up your life, stop waiting on people and stop listening to people's opinions. If you are passionate about something and that's something that you've been thinking about doing and that you feel like is dear to your heart that you want to accomplish, stop waiting for people's validations on what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Get people's opinions that are doing what you want to do. That you see yourself like, damn, I really want to be like them when they grow up. Or they're in the same field as me. They're in the same, they're in the same bracket as me. Like, I really want to learn from them. Take advice for people that's doing what you want to do. Not the people that's not doing shit. Stop listening to people that doesn't have the results you want. Okay, you want to become a hairstylist. Follow some hairstylist um, pages. Look at their work. Ask them. Ask them questions. Get a mentor. But stop asking people that are not in your field or doesn't see your potential or just... It's not giving you good fucking advice, okay? The reason why you're scared and the reason why you're, you know, doubting yourself because you're not hearing the right things. Like, you're letting other people's fear fuck your game up. Like... Stop. Stop. And another thing, stop waiting for validations. Stop waiting for people to congratulate you. Stop waiting on people to acknowledge what you're doing and who you are. Child, the only thing you should be validating is your own opinion, what you feel. Your own, the, the person that, that you are competing with is yourself, to be honest. It's literally yourself. So it's like, when you're waiting for a person to validate you or to see what you're doing or just to like, you know, cheer for you, your time will come. But it's like, don't wait. Because the more you wait, the more you're going to get frustrated. Like, why is nobody seeing my work? Just stay down and ground and ground and grind. And that's something I have to tell myself too. I'm human. I'm like, damn, I'm doing all this work. I only got 332 um, subscribers. Like, why is nobody seeing my video? Like, what is my... Like, Child, my time will come. Like, your time will come. And I feel like in order for us to really succeed and boss up and do what we need to do, we have to not only be patient, but just eliminate the noises around us. The negativity. Like, stop listening to what people think that you should do. No. Listen to what you want to do. What do you want to do? Like, does that align with what you want to do? Because sometimes people be talking the stupidest shit. And you just be like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm, I hear you though. <laughs> but I'm not listening. Like, I hear you, but I'm not listening. But in order for you to boss up, change your life, change the game, start listening to your gut and fuck what everybody else thinks. That's my personal opinion. So I'm, I'm just saying what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying what I'm saying. Okay. Right. In order for you to start becoming a boss, and I said this in my previous video, move in silence. Stop telling everybody what you want to accomplish in life. Because there are going to be negative Nancys around you that are just not going to be happy for what you want to accomplish or just going to put your dreams down because they didn't follow theirs move in silence like what 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 little way said real g's move in silence like lasagna move in silence not everything you want in life and not everything you want to accomplish you need to tell people you can take your w's in silence you can take your l's in silence but i feel like not everybody is meant to hear what you want to do in life because just because they didn't follow what they wanted to do they're also projecting their fear onto you move in silence don't tell nobody nothing don't post anything like i said last video don't post anything only post it when everything is accomplished and done everything is signed off for example i didn't tell nobody i was moving when i got this apartment only like less than five people knew i was moving until I went on IG, I took a picture of my key. And people was like, damn girl, you moved? When the hell you moved out your parents' home? Girl, nobody knew. 
until to be honest nobody knew i was moving until i signed the lease before that only one or two people knew i was moving before i signed the lease but other than that after that lease was signed and i knew and i got the key oh my mouth was open because child i paid a deposit i got my money's worth i got the key oh i got my apartment okay but yeah Move in silence. Not everybody needs to know what you're accomplishing. Nobody cares. They really don't care. People really don't care until it's done. And then that's when they're going to be asking you all these questions. How did you do it? When did you even have money to save? When did you even have money? When, like, when did you even have the time to, like, surprise people? Be like, hey, bitch. I give it to the people that's been pregnant for years, like, for months. And then they ain't pop out until they have, like, the maternity, mater maternity shoot. They're like, bitch, when the fuck you were you pregnant? When the hell were you pregnant? Girl, I just sent you last week. You look, you ain't even look pregnant. Exactly. Exactly. Surprise people. Like, phew. they didn't know I was coming. Like, what's that mean? Well, I'm going to start it off slow. I'm going to scope the scenery out. Watch out. You don't know when I'm coming, <laughs> dummy. You didn't even know I was coming. And that's what you need to do in life. Not everybody needs to know your next move. Not everybody needs to know what you're accomplishing. Just do it. Shut up and do it. That's really what it is. And the last thing, I had to zoom you guys in for this last one because I'm about to get real deep. And y'all might hate me for this, but start taking responsibility for why your life isn't going the way it should be. At your big age, you're whining, you're blaming other people, you're complaining about why things are not going well for you. Knowing, knowing you can change the outcome of it every single day that you're alive. But no, you wanna focus on the past. You wanna focus of your, of your upbringing. At your big age, there's a new day. Every time that you're alive and you wake up every single morning or afternoon, what time you wake up, you want to be like, damn, how my life been this way? Yo, I'm 30 years old and I still don't got a job. I'm 30 years old and I'm still making minimum wage. Like, when is shit going to change? Nothing is going to change unless you do it. At your big age, you are sitting here whining to other people, to your friends, to your family members about why your life is in shambles, knowing you can fix it. If you're not disabled, if you don't have any heart condition, if you know darn all well that you are a healthy human being and you still decide to complain, whine, and blame other people for why you're not accomplishing your goals, that's on you. You can't blame nobody else but you. Like, take accountability of what the hell you're doing with your life. Stop looking at everybody else's plate and start focusing on yours. Focus on why your shit is really empty. Focus on why you don't got no money in your pocket. Focus on why you haven't got that promotion yet. Elevate. Boss up. Boss up. What's your problem? You complaining. Obviously something's wrong. Duh. You're complaining like we don't all see it. But when somebody want to tell you about yourself, you want to get defensive. You're not a child. Like I said, at your big age, fix the problem. If it's fixable, it's doable. Do it. But you want to sit here and blame X, Y, and Z for why you broke. Or why you don't got, you know, why your life is not supposed to, like, it's not set up. You irritate my soul. Because people are fighting for their life. People want to change. People, there's some people that really can't because of their circumstances. And we, I totally get that. But if you know you're just being lazy and you don't want to accomplish things because it's like you just waiting. You just waiting until somebody give you a, a handout or a, a silver spoon or some something. Child, you're going to be waiting forever. 
because you need to start doing something in order for things to, to keep the ball running and rolling. But don't you ever sit here and blame other people about why your life is not the way it's supposed to be, knowing darn all well, dang all well, you can change the outcome of it. Okay? Like, I had to really get deep in this. I had to zoom in. You know what's wrong when I have to zoom the camera really forward? Stop playing with yourself. Like, boss the hell up. Boss up. All right, had to zoom you guys out, you know, back in production. But yeah, that's all I have to really tell you guys. Um, when it comes down to, you know, bossing up, changing your life, taking charge of your life, and really being productive and just changing it for the better. That's really all I have for you guys. Like I said, I give tough love out here. And sometimes it's not just you. Sometimes what I say, I need to also listen to what I'm saying too. I can't just like preach and not practice what I'm saying. Like I gotta sink this in my head too. So don't take it personal. Cause when I'm talking to y'all, I'm also talking to me. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys in this week's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.